got a hammer in the back. And a shovel. wore out <laughs> shovel. You're thinking Whoa. what I'm thinking. <laughs> As most of you have seen, I went up to my buddy Jace's last week and got a seat for this car. Giveaway coronet. Good job, Matt. Now, what are you doing in the yard? Before we did that, Alan brought up a donor car and we tore all the seats out of it and put them in here and realized that it was a bench seat, not a 60 or a 50-50 split, and you couldn't get in the back seat of this car. So we used the rear seats of Allen's, but we had to find a new front seat. So you've seen us do that last week. This week you see us find the rest of the interior. We can check that out right now. Hey, it looks like Allen showed up with uh, car parts for the Coronet. Let's go check it out. Perfect donor car material right there. What we need, right? Oh yeah. It's if it's got seats in it, I'm in love. Hello, sir. Howdy. That's a beaut. It's a four-door cornet. That's the parts we're after right there. It's got everything. And if the inner web is correct, the four-door back seat is the same as the two-door back seat. So this stuff should bolt right in. I don't, I don't know really. I mean, somebody knows, but not me. In about an hour, I'll know. <laughs> You're a lifesaver, Alan. You definitely what are. What were you doing with this car? I was using it for parts for mine. I bought this whole car just for that back window and I broke it trying to get it out. Oh, that's oh. a bummer. So you still don't have a back window then? Nope. Well, if anybody out there knows where a Coronet back window is for a 65, yeah, we're Alan needs one. Alan needs one he's in got, a bad way. He's got a four door that's in really good shape, but it's missing this. This one's not in good shape anymore. Mm. The ones that you don't want, you can hit with a hammer and everything else, <laughs> they won't break. The ones you want to keep, they explode. Pull it off and make it happen, huh? I think so. Here we go. Camera heavy? It's super heavy. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> I can hardly even uh, lift it. Oh, that stove stopped the last car we pushed in, so. I think I'm out of shape. I guess round is a shape. <laughs> oh. Here, let's keep going. Let's go up the line. Putting on the brakes. Right there. <laughs> there we go. So today, we're harvesting parts for the Coronet, the giveaway car. So uh, seats are coming out, Alan's hooking us up, and uh, we're gonna strip some good stuff off this car and put on ours. Getting door panels too? Really? They're different. Oh. Four doors have short doors, two doors have a long door. So it's, I think it's the exact same wheelbase, but the four door comes back this much farther and then has a little window back here. Oh. Little different roof line, it looks like. But the seats are the same. That's what the old interweb saying. In about an hour, ask me that question again, really? and I'll let you know. So I know I have a hoist, people, but I want the doors open, and this hoist doesn't fit at all. So we're just doing it this way. A piece of trim is in a little better shape than mine. Not great, but better shape. So. Probably gonna harvest that. Which way? Which goes in? Right there. We're about to see the treasures. Yep. Oh, squirrel stuff, treasures for days under there. One of the roof bows. Just like so, huh? Yep. Oh yeah. I don't even think we need to recover these, Randall. We'll just put them in. They're mint. They're actually not bad. Springs aren't broke. Jeff Carter's gonna hook this up. That's gonna be good. He'll, he'll be able to doctor these things right up. Cool. Only broke one. Wow. 
That's the technique. That is how you do it. Slam it on there, it'll come off. Can I tell you how nice it was to walk over to a drawer, open it up and know that your tool was in there? How nice was that? It was pretty dang nice. If I could keep my kids out of the shop, it'll continue to be in that drawer. We might can get organized in here. It's not gonna happen. Much better. She's a bit. Randall, you need some toilet paper? There's a couple fresh rolls in here. This stuff's worth a lot of money. That's like gold. I mean, mint. I'm sure if you pull a couple off, it's still okay in there. Maybe you ought to put it on the website. Yeah, if any of you guys are after this toilet paper, hit me up. There's another one in there. I can sell them. We'll start the bidding. <laughs> I don't even know what we should start at, but <laughs> we'll just add those into the giveaway cart, up the value of it a little. Lucky penny, here you go. What year is it? It's a 19 green. <laughs> I don't um, know. What's your guesses? 1975. 1968. Ooh. It's the year this car was licensed last, 1973. Oh. Yep. Wow. That is a lucky penny. It's a pretty lucky penny right there. Got the other coronet emblem to go on the side. Oh yeah. Things are happening. She's coming together. So don't drop the nut. We'll tick the car up and shake it out. <laughs> You'll get a lot more than that out of it. <laughs> There'll be a lot of rust on the floor. This one's trying to go back to Mother Earth. The whole floorboard, if you jumped in it, you'd Flintstone this car. Really? Oh yeah, it's bad. All the crown pieces look pretty good. I'm not sure what that is. I can show you. It was a Pepsi can. Hey. Right there. Came out of a Pepsi can. Pepsi drinker. The last thing yeah. I remember seeing those on are the V8 cans. Oh yeah, the old V8s. Yeah, they those commercials where everyone was walking sideways. <laughs> Lunch? I grabbed a pizza. Someone's gonna have to make a trip to order, Bill. Go see if the taco stand See if the taco open. stand is open. Got everything out of the inventory? I think so. <laughs> that shovel. Someone's That's used that some thing. <laughs> you wouldn't want to mess with the guy that wore that shovel down that much. Uh-uh. There was a hammer here. It was just like a little claw hammer. That just the abuse, whole face huh? Was just completely muscle. My question is, he's got a hammer in the back. And, and a shovel. Wore out <laughs> shovel. You're thinking Whoa. what I'm thinking. <laughs> Gloves oh. to go with it. Stay in there. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> Tacos serve. Oh yeah. Ready to roll back home. Let's uh, see if she starts. We'll pull it in the shop. <laughs> Looks like my kids have been doing something. There's a muffler and starting fluid next to a go kart. That's suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You let go. Oh, Sounds pretty good if it'll, if you can get it to rev up, it's gonna be even better. That carburetor's out. This distributor, it was one of those uh, Amazon specials. Mm. It's going away. We got a good Mopar, put the right parts in it so it runs right stuff. But, seats. Let's clean the inside out and get the seats in it. 
That box right there that says Mopar on it should fix our our troubles, really. With the new the new box and the wiring for it, that should solve all of our dilemmas. Jets are outside today. Oh yeah, right there. Fighter jet. Some board seats going away. Oh, those are in good shape even. <laughs> wow. Thunderbird seat out of here. All right, so just a, a quick little tech tip for all you people. Wood is not a good seat mount. It's not good. Quit doing it. Just get the right seats. All right, we'll clean this up. And test fit. I hope this other stuff works. Oh, things are getting crazy in here. We have a seat. We, we just got to get these recovered. Hey, cameraman Lando. Hi. Guess what? What? It's your job. You're on duty. But yeah, that's it. Maybe I don't want to get rid of this car. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. This is how Shaq would drive this car. <laughs> He'd be in the back seat. This is cool. I like it. Let's set it in there, see what it looks like. I should have picked that side. Why? I'm younger. More agile. More agile? <laughs> oh yeah. Right there. Just like that. Just like it's supposed to be. Does that seat tilt forward? I don't know. Uh, Probably not. No. No, it doesn't tilt forward. <laughs> we'll figure that out. <laughs> what you got there, Lance? It's a chair from Harbor Freight. All right, we'll assemble those things and we'll see what they look like. Okay. All right, we had a 1400 on it, which is not a very big carb. And we're currently putting a 750 back on it, so that's gonna help. That's the brandy new one. We'll put that on and see if things are happier in there. Hopefully they are. How's the chair assembly going? Good. I got one done. And almost done with the other one. Mass producing these things, huh? We are just plumbing the new uh, distributor in, new carburetors on it. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances that I didn't see, that Ben seen, <laughs> it happens. Um, we've got the wrong spark plug wires to go onto this cap. So I got to order some ends and put on there. We should be good to go. Make her good. <laughs> No need to pump the tire up, just drive her flat. Ooh. I told him to go get the lawnmower so we could fix it. He's doing her. Driving your lawnmower with the flat tire. Nice. It, it was the same way to push it down here, so it'll work. That made ride a little better now. She looks a little better. She's a beaut. We're gonna go ahead and plug this on. It's not right, but we'll hear it run and see if it's if we fixed our problem anyway. So I'm already recycling Paul's parts he gave me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I gave them away too early. <laughs> that one's not gonna live long. Right here, just on that header. Just for the record. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. What you doing? Are we actually doing anything here today? Look at this. The car's in the shop. I know, but you're not working on it. You're just looking at it. I'm not working on anything. So okay. Check out them new seats. Them new seats. Brand new. Brand new to that car, all right. That's right. About to get a fire on it. I came to hear it run, but it's, I'm not hearing anything. It's close. It's actually running good, too, I think. <laughs> So, what was that? Nothing. <laughs> I, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, so. I, I will tell you. So those were given to us 
Oh, okay. And there was three extra ones that Paul didn't need. And apparently Paul picked the best for him and gave the worst ones to JD. Uh, there's no apparently about it. <laughs> <laughs> I may have been involved in that. By the same token, I would have done the same thing. So. <laughs> All the ridicule I can take. You're out of here, huh? <laughs> We'll see you later. Tomorrow, if you want more. <laughs> Back tomorrow if I need to be harassed and ridiculed again. Yep. That's right. All right. I'm halfway sure it's in park. Ish. I'll sit in. Just next yeah. Time. I'm not going to stand directly in front of it. Randall, you might want to move. Get in front, Randall. That right up there. Get the good footage. <laughs> that was the idea. Try that. Okay. You shut off. You know what I think it is? What? I think the plugs are fouled out. Maybe. Well, which they're going to be easy to change. Oh yeah, probably. they only burn every inch of your arm off trying to get into it. We'll get some. <laughs> we'll get the right plug wires on it. New plugs in it. We're eliminating problems. Yeah, I gotta make this thing so I can drive it, cause I'm driving it to whoever wins this thing. So it's got to be reliable. So. Not to mention the smoky burnouts that need to be. Well, shown. yeah, that's. I got two sets of tires to ruin. Really. New carburetors on it. New distributors in it. Not new plug wires or plugs, and it shows. It's still missing pretty bad. So we'll order some new plug wires. Put some new plugs in it. And we just realized we're still running on the old nasty gas in it. So we'll drain that out so it quits killing our plugs. Oh yeah. Don't buy Chinese eel. It's bad. It, that's been our problem forever. So in the end, this is going to be a good car for you. Thanks it's got to have new expensive gas in it. Gosh, I hate. $3 a gallon gas was bad. $5 a gallon. It'll be good though. Maybe it does better burnouts when it's five dollars a gallon. The giveaway car is empty. That can only mean one thing. Seats are getting ready to go to upholstery. Oh yeah, Randall, he's loading her up right now. Last seats going in the truck. We'll take these bad dogs over to Jeff Carter and get some upholstery handled on this thing. It'll be looking good. Still got a bunch of work, but the car's coming along. Well, this is the, this is what we got. You're gonna hate us. You can fix it, can't ya? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. Corvair. Corvair. That springs are about all that it has to do. Yeah. Well, I got some foam and replacement stuff. <laughs> Good deal. So this is where all the magic happens, mm -hmm. though. This is it. Yeah. I did get some white vinyl. Oh, yeah. Because you said you wanted it. Yep. So. Oh, yeah, that but, stuff will look good in there. Yeah, so, you know, but. Now, let me ask you this. The carpet's the, black. The carpet is black. You yep. got the carpet there. Carpet is there. We have okay. it. It'll be in it. Okay. We could go with black on the welt. If There's you... red and white in the dash. Is car, there red? I wondered if there the was The car red. used to be red, and they painted it white. Well, well uh, uh, I'll just draw something up. Okay. We'll let you know. Okay. Well, I'll try and get this done okay. real quick for yeah. you, so we can get it in and get it out. Get it give guys. away. Get it right away so. that, it'll be cool. Yeah. Someone will like that car. Well, Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Carter's got the seats now. They're not 100% set in stone how they're going to be, so we know they're going to be white. We know that uh, they're going to be soft and squishy, but I don't know the thread color on it stuff, so let us know what you think. The carpet's going to be black. The headliner's going to be white. Tell us what you think in the, for the thread color on it. All right, so last time we worked on this car, we were minus some spark plugs and some wires to make this thing run right. So we're gonna hurry and slap those on, tidy up some wires and see if this thing will run right. Now we got one plug wire left to put on, and it's 
like unto tight down in here. Any of you guys that have ever messed with 440s and headers know my pain right now. We'll zip tie all that stuff up. Yeah. Maybe. Just maybe. This last plug wire on. And we'll see if this car will run. My seat situation's not too good anymore. Got some weird. I like it. Starter's clearance in itself. It's got to come out when the tranny comes out, anyways. We'll figure all that out. I like it. That's how she was supposed to run. She's a fire breathing dragon now. Plug going anywhere. I'm just, <laughs> just giving it a test whirl. Alright. I'm happy with that. That sounds like a big block on a sound. Good. So, motor handled. The issues are done. What we have left on this car? We've got all the interior to put back in it when it gets done. The headliner, the carpet, the dynamat, a rear end to put in it. We've got a posi to go in it, so it won't be a one-legger. We've got to put the front grill back in it. we got to put the trans cooler mounted in it properly. It's just zip-tied in here. Pull the tranny out. we got a brand new transmission kit. We're going to rebuild the whole tranny. Stuff it in so we just don't have problems anymore. We're gaining soon enough. This car will be one of yours. Doing smoky burnouts. Oh, yeah. It's going to do that. So I think until we pull her in the shop again. Thanks for watching.